Hi, I'm Cayman Reynolds, and boy, it's a beautiful March day. But just because the bees are bringing in pollen does not necessarily mean that they're bringing in nectar, too. And for a big colony, they can go downhill really quick if they run out of feed stuff, and they can actually starve this time of the year. And just a little bit of observation, getting into your hives on the beekeeper's part, can really make the difference on if a colony goes backwards and ends up losing the progress that they're making towards a big honey crop and a big population, or even possibly them starving out if, if they don't have enough food at all to survive. And we are really close to the first nectar. I, we're starting to get a trickle here and there, but it's not enough to sustain a colony that's double deeps or bigger. Definitely not one that we're trying to get to a really strong, healthy population size. And this is one of the ways that you can tell that you have issues. All right, so there is eggs all down in here and they're starting to do cap root over here. But there's a problem with this frame. And on this side as well. There's no nectar or honey up in here. No sugar syrup, whatever. There's just a tiny bit over here. And it's not just this one frame. And that's where you can't just gauge it off of one frame. But I've looked at this frame, that frame. I've picked up the box, I know the weight of it. and. Unless you've done something weird, they never store the bulk majority of the honey down below. So just keep an eye on your colonies. Make sure that they have the feed. Some of these colonies, for whatever reason, have like 30 pounds of honey. And I'm pulling them out and giving them to some of the nukes. Some of these, like this one, are just going from day to day, barely able to go. Because they're just so low on foodstuffs. And let's say we get some rainy weather. We might get a big storm front move through. They're not able to do anything outside the hive for five days to a week. That could happen. They not only could go backwards, but in, in some cases even starve. So really, uh, just get into your colonies, even if it's just for a couple minutes and see where they're at. This is where the beekeeper really can do his bees a favor. And that's what beekeepers are for, is really to take um, the, the, the nature element out of it. When nature sometimes doesn't give a colony enough food, we can step in and really help that colony survive. Doesn't mean necessarily we'll breed from that colony. We want ones that are easy keepers, but at the same time, I don't like to lose bees. We can always, if this colony has bad genetics, we can take one from our better stock and replace the queen. But let's not lose bees if we can help it. Thanks for watching the video, and if you have any comments or questions, always down below. Thanks.